Welcome, I'm Meredith. This is the Oasis Spiritual Empowerment Tarot, all about tarot, oracle, and empowering you. And today, I have an unboxing. Um, I'm so excited for this deck. This is Morgan Oracle Cards, and it's by Morpheus Ravina and Hannah Storyteller. So it comes in a kind of beaten up looking tuck box but that's okay because all I care about are the cards so it looks like it's like a um, like a make playing cards game crafter kind of thing but it might not be I don't know so this deck emerged from a book Goodnight Morgan written by Hannah Storyteller teller and illustrated by Morpheus Ravina. That is why rather than being standalone images, the pictures on the cards are each small vignettes from a larger scene. Um, now it goes on to talk about how to use them. There are some natural groupings of cards in the deck. Fire, water, sky, and land represent the four classical elements. Alternatively, alternately, land, sky, and water represent the three Celtic domains. The spear, the sword, the sewn, and the cauldron are the four treasures of ancient Ireland. There are many cards that are opposites or close to it, such as civilization and wilderness, or jubilation and grief. Some cards speak to the same concept, but in greater or lesser degrees. Teamwork might be enough for a project, but community is something more. Um, talks about reading them inverted. We have some spreads. And then there's a, a tricky card cheat sheet. So we have some kind of keywords for the cards. But let's get into the cards. Um, look how beautiful these backs are. So, so pretty. Um, now this is a smaller, I feel like it's a bridge size maybe. So it's a good deal shorter than standard tarot. A little bit more narrow. And now let's just get right in to these cards. So I came across this deck um, because of, uh, somebody posted about it on Facebook and uh, I had to check it out and once I saw it I was just so love that and that I was so charmed by it really Now, if you're not new here, you probably know that I tend not to use guidebooks. I like to let my intuition speak to me whenever possible. Um, and I think this is a, a great deck for that. You know, and I like that there's so many different ways we can go with these cards. I mean, think about the slain, right? Well, what's slain? You know, is it a literal? Is it a literal thing? Is it more um, an idea or a thought or a habit or even an ideal? You know, in sky, that's so open. Right. What does sky mean to you? What does it mean in that moment? Is this a sunrise or a sunset? And I think at different times it's going to have different meanings for me.
and even here with plenty you know I mean the keyword plenty or the title right that could be anything but then the image it's defenses right well to me the shields speak of defense but now the swords can be offense right so I just I feel like there are so many different ways you can go with these cards I love that now they do have the original book for sale as well I'll link um, the website in the description if you're interested so and they have a bunch of um, uh, like clothing and, and different things it's a really definitely check out their site there's some neat stuff especially if you if you enjoy this artwork like I do love this too You know, is it is it referring to you need luck to to um, avoid right that thing, or is it about creating your own luck, creating that that talisman or whatever it is, you know, like a like a warding. And I love the size of these. I just think it's a really fun size. And it's perfect to still get all the beautiful artwork. It's so interesting. You know, I did a um, um, a sort of meditation thing, um, kind of communing with with a particular guide. It looks so much like that, so much like that. And this was way before I even knew this deck existed. Which is kind of interesting. This is a really interesting one. And the cardstock's nice. It feels like a, you know, like a make playing cards type of cardstock. Um, and it's nice and smooth without being really glossy. <laughs> I love it. Look at the expression on his face. It's so expressive. Very kind of mischievous. I'm like, I know what you're up to. Love that.
That's really interesting too. I guess I did these backwards, right? So we went from A to W, but that's okay. Um, so let's give them a shuffle, and then I'll lay them out. So you can see how they might read. Let's try that again. It's super easy to riffle shuffle. Uh, bridging is, you know, it's a small deck, you know. Um, so for me, I have big hands, so it's a little harder. Look how pretty these are. So, and even like, oh. all right, so let's lay them out. And of course, one of the nice things, because of the size of the deck, you can fit a lot of cards. Right? You know, if you do online readings, or you just like to take uh, pictures and post them of your readings. You know, so we fit 10 cards. So that's super fabulous. And I mean, obviously you could pull out or pull in and change that, but I feel like this is, um, Close enough that you can see the details pretty well. Now, of course, if you were doing a smaller spread, you could pull in more, but... Wow. I think these are fabulous. Oh, you know what? Let's pull one and see what that uh, cheat sheet says about it. I know I already laid a bunch out, but that's okay. Community. Okay, so let's see. And that is not one. So it doesn't have keywords for everyone. So that's okay. Let's pull another one and see if now we have civilization. Okay. Things only humans can do for good or for ill. Um, probably not where I would go with that. Um, but it's interesting. I mean, I kind of like that, right? Because if it was just going to give me what I would get, what's the point? So I kind of like that it's a different perspective. You know, for me, like right now, looking at the card, I feel like it, it speaks to... safety and security more than anything. But yeah. I Oh, I think this is such a great deck. I'm really really excited to use it. And I think it's going to go with a lot of other decks. There's a deck there's a deck that it's like at the tip of my mind. You know what I mean? And I can't place it yet, but there's a particular deck that I think will be fabulous with it, and I can't think of what it is. But it's one I have. I'll think of it. But let me know what you think. Um, do you have this deck? It, it's been around for a little while. Uh, maybe a long while. I don't even know. Um, but I, I just think it's really delightful. I really really like it. I'm looking very forward to using it. So again, these are Morgan Oracle Cards by Morpheus Ravina and Hannah Storyteller. And I will link their site in the description. So until next time, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And be wonderful to yourself. Be really, really wonderful because you deserve the best, only the best. All the best and that is my wish for you.